Hello and welcome back to another video. So this is part 17 I believe. Uh, so we're going to carry on with the actual design. So in this episode we're going to add in this main featured image here. So this Lorem Ipsum uh, uh, image and then underneath we are going to create the uh, sidebar here and then the main content area here for our text and then if we have enough time we'll create this section at the bottom so if we just jump over to visual web developer i've had a slight change in the plan now we're going to stick we're going to stick to the same design in photoshop so this featured image is actually going to stretch all the way across uh, so it's not going to look like this so once we've got this open we need to change the width of this so we're going to go to the style sheet and we're going to come down to the featured image uh, ID and where it says 500 pixels we're just going to change that to 100% so that will stretch 100% across the screen and then if we go to the default you can now see that stretching all the way across so the first thing we need to do is we need to go into Photoshop and actually slice out the image uh, to go in here so if we just go back over to Photoshop and if we come up here so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove these um, circles here on the end. So I'm going to click on the actual circle, which jumps me to the layer here. So the left featured button. Turn off the right one and turn off the two arrows. So if we just minimize that, you can now see I've got this um, perfect rectangle. So I'm going to go to my slice tool. And I'm going to zoom in a little. And I'm going to start this slice right on this corner here where we've got this nice thin one pixel line so make sure you grab it all so I'm just going to drag that down and I'm just going to drag it all the way across to the right hand side and then that will then select the whole image which will then uh, like I said add that into the featured image div at the very top okay so we want to make sure we grab it in the corner here Again, we'll, we'll change the, um, we'll zoom in a little bit to actually change that. So if we do control and plus to zoom in. So as you can see here, it's not quite on the line. And again, I'm going to have to zoom in a bit more to get more fine grain control. So I'm zoomed in 3200% uh, and then that now goes on the line. So I zoom out a little bit more and come down to the bottom line here. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. And it's this sort of square dots that you want to change. And again, pull that down. And if we go up to the top one, that needs doing as well. So I recommend getting used to the keyboard shortcuts because it does save you a lot of time. And then that one looks good to me. So I'm going to double click on the actual image and I'm going to call this uh, featured image home page so if we're looking at the images in the like the folder view we'll know exactly which page that it belongs to uh, so I'm going to zoom out so I can actually see what I'm doing okay so now I need to go to file uh, save for web and devices and then we need to click on the image that we want here now this is quite a big image so we might want to optimize this so if you click on it and you'll look down here where it says uh, JPEG, the size of it is 105.1K, uh, which is quite, quite a big file for a web page. Um, but up here, we've got this quality uh, section. So normally I drop, drop it down to 90% to start with. Uh, and you can see now the, the size has now come down to 82. And the image pretty much looks the same, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, you can, if you wanted to, bring it down to 80%, but you then start to get some... Um, pixelation on the actual image uh, but like I said I'm going to leave it on 90 and then I'm going to click save and then you need to make sure that these slices here is selected to selected slices and click save and that will save it into the images folder so now if we just go back to visual web developer so we now we need to add the image into here so we need to just refresh the view up here and you'll now see our uh, featured image home pages here. So I'm just going to go to the source of the default page and I'm going to add uh, the image tag in here. So this is our content placeholder 
Um, so this is the one for the featured image content holder. So I'm going to do IMG SRC for source, and then I'm just going to pick URL. And then if I go to images, then you can see over here featured image homepage. Click OK. Add your alt tag, and we can just call this featured image, or you can call it what you like like that and then close it off and save that so if we go to the design you're going to look at this and it's actually slightly too big uh, so what we're going to have to do is just edit this image but before we do that we'll just preview it in a web page first of all so if we click on the start debugging here so as you can see the image is in position um, but it's actually not it hasn't got the same uh, spacing over here so what we need to do is bring it down in size a little so I'm going to go back to Photoshop and instead of editing this one here I'm going to edit the one we uh, exported a second ago so I'm going to do file open and I'm going to go into the images folder and I'm going to open up the image we just created so this one here I'm going to go to image image size and I'm going to bring the width of it down slightly uh, so I'm going to bring it down to 7 Eight, three, just to see what that looks like and save that and if you do control s that will save and then just click ok so that's now updated that image so if we go back to the web browser and if we hit refresh you can now see the image has come in a little I think it needs to come in a tiny tiny bit more so if we just go back to Photoshop and if we do image image size and if we say uh, 7 8 no 7 7 8 and click OK. Again, Control S to save it. And if we go back to the web page and we hit refresh, you can now see that is looking pretty good to me. Uh, we've got a nice uh, border around the edge which is equal on each side. So we've now got the featured content area in. The next thing we need to look at now is putting in the sidebar and then the main content area. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here and I'm going to upload two videos at the same time so we can carry on getting the home page finished and then we can add in the change password page, um, we can add in the register page, uh, forgotten password so if a user forgets the password they can request a new one uh, to their email address. Um, so as usual guys, thanks for watching, uh, please leave any comments below, feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.